Hello guys and welcome back. So today I'm doing a Japanese house where this house is inspired by another photo. But this time this is an actual Japanese house because previously I did this one Japanese house where it's um a hotel in Hakone. So the room is more like a hotel room or like a rental house in The Sims and this one is an original, not like original but an actual house, an actual Japanese house. But I only have the front of the house so basically the back of the house I did mm, my own way I kind of replicate the front of the house I didn't want to make this house um, too big now moving on to the windows I kind of changed the location of the windows and also the type of the windows quite sometimes because I feel like it doesn't match what I was looking for when I was actually doing the interior of the house. Following that inspired photo, there's this small balcony in the front of the house, which makes the front of the house really nice in my opinion. Then they have this roof, which I think it looks a bit shorter than the normal roofs. So I kind of make it short too and I gave it a red roof. I feel like the house was a bit too big so I sized down the house and I moved the windows. I wanted to do a fence but I don't really like how the normal fence was too near to the platform of the house so I kind of make um, a custom fence and there's only one fence so I'm doing the front of the house then they have this small plants they have some plants there and they have some seats there too and then they have this like sliding door where um, people can just come out from the living room and I feel like the plants fit at the second floor better, so I kind of moved it up to the second floor. So instead, I placed some other plants, more like a custom plant or flower bundle at the first floor patio. And then I feel like the chairs were too near to the sliding door. So I kind of move the chairs a bit and I kind of see lots of Japanese house where they have this, they have a lot of landscapes everywhere. For the back of the house, I did replicate the front of the house, making it same with the back of the house. And inside the house, I did quite some research where in most of the houses, Probably because their houses are small, so they kind of have the bathroom like um, really near to the entryway. So I kind of make the bathroom right in front of the entryway, which I find it quite nice because it seems I'm not sure if Japanese house do look like that, but I find it quite realistic. And they have a separate bath and then I realized that there yeah, are still some space so I kind of did two types of bath the shower and the bathtub and it's funny that this house has only one bedroom which is the maximum of two sims but there is like two bathtub, two shower and three toilets so I was doing this stairs and I kind of struggled with the stairs because I'm not sure how am I going to fit the stairs in because 
at one point I felt that this house wasn't that big and then I don't know how to put the stairs because I layered the bathroom before I placed the stairs so this is the part where I moved the chairs because I don't want it to be too near to the sliding door so I kind of skew it a bit which I find it quite nice so we're moving to the kitchen and I did saw most of the Japanese house they have a they have an open kitchen tap or it's probably just the trend of modern houses now so I kind of use this open kitchen style too with an, on top of a platform and I put two island top I kind of like how it actually fits at the corner of the house just like just right behind the living room and the stove just fit right in the middle of the windows which makes I would say it makes the whole thing looks a bit nice and then we have the sink on the other side I don't know I just feel that everything seems just in place the only thing is I feel that this house should have more bedrooms so I'm doing this stairs I didn't expect um, I did this I did the kitchen and the stairs first before I continued to lay out the other part of the house I wanted to do a tree island top but the house can't really fit so I ended up between only two and the platform of this first floor is driving me crazy because every time when I did a room the platform starts to rise like one or two levels and it, I need to keep on like adjusting the platforms I'm not sure if in some realistic Japanese house are all the Japanese house like just having a really small walkway because this small walkway basically only contains like a small area which is open to the toilet, the stairs and the living room so now I'm doing the living room starting I did a western style living room with normal sofas and all I actually kind of like the living area in the first floor I kind of feel that it looks cozy with the wooden floorings also considering that there's so much window and open to the kitchen and also to the door to the front patio so now I'm doing the bathroom I kind of I'm not sure what towel do I want to use and I ended up to using a dual color and I kind of like this concept of the toilet having two colors especially this towel looks quite nice with two colors it doesn't look so odd somehow I wanted to use all the um, snowy escape items but just the dining table and the dining chairs were a bit hard for me to fit in so I didn't use literally all of them probably because of the stairs so the toilet on the first floor the layer just fits at the second floor too so I kind of just copy the bathroom to the second floor and because I wanted to fit the windows up on the toilet so I had to use another window so that it don't look so awkward and I kind of changed some windows and added some windows I feel like these windows just make the whole front of the house look really nice I really like the front of the house there are so much dimensions and texture at the front of the house because the side of the house just looks so flat so the second floor I think I can actually fit two bedrooms it's actually mm, more realistic to fit two bedrooms 
but I kind of like the concept, the design of it being like this. So I ended up making it only one bedroom. So here I just feel like I want to put the kotatsu table on the first floor where people can just sit there and watch TV. That picture just come into my mind. So I feel like it's more better to put the kotatsu table on the first floor. And then at the second floor, there's this one small edge near the stairs, which I find it suitable to fit in a half bath with only one toilet of course but I just feel it fits there so making this whole house into a two and a half bath which is quite much considering that this house only has one bedroom after adding the kotatsu table at the first floor I moved the whole western living room to the second floor because I wanted to use that sliding door that big sliding door so I put the western living room on the second floor and the living room was kind of mm, how we call that a bit of mix and match where i put the dresser and the bookshelves there which split the living room into two which i personally kind of like that style i just feel that everything works fine the only thing is that this house has only one bedroom where that's the only thing which I feel that like can be worked out better I guess then we have this two color bathroom with the shower and the bathtub in the ensuite bathroom which I don't know why is there so much bathrooms but I did a different tile for the bathroom on the second floor because I feel like maybe I should try out some other tiles to see what really matches well. I kind of fit the study room at the walkway on the second floor because it fits there. And also I placed a chess table there which I think it really match because the I don't know, the image of people just playing chess in a Japanese house kind of just talks to me. And then, now I'm like kind of adding in lots of other snowy escape furniture and all, trying to fit it somewhere. I like this tea shelf place at the corner of the walkway. And I think this is another tea cabinet for the living area. I'm also trying to fill all the other snowy escape surface furniture. I don't know, that small surface on beside the window, it looks a bit weird, but I think um, it gives a bit Japanese style, I guess. And now, now the wall decorations, that's the only few decorations that I can really put because the, the other three were like extremely big. There's only one toilet that has the mirror because the second floor, the window was too low and I can't really put a mirror in front of the basin. I'm trying if I can fit in anywhere all the other snowy escape furniture and also decorations, every items. I can't fit the fireplace, that was one thing. I think this soap decoration isn't really in place because I didn't really look closely when I was placing it. After that, when I was like test playing it, and then um, some of the items were like placed too high because I just randomly placed them, but I think it doesn't matter. Um, I think I just did somehow, I guess. So I placed a lot of different plates in one counter because I feel like it makes a bit sense have like one counter all for plates and then i put a lot of like tea because it's a japanese house so i feel like it's it looks i'm not sure if it's common but i'm a tea lover so i really like the idea of having tea cans everywhere 
and I put a lot of this doll everywhere too like every single place of the first floor and second floor that I can put I wanted to just put this divider down the moment when I put this divider I didn't thought that I would be using it I was just I just put it down thinking that maybe I can think how should I make it work later on and I didn't expect it to work out really fine with the dresser at the end so I was like randomly placing some of the lights some outdoor lights and some wall lights and I think this house is a bit lacking of the outdoor lights but it doesn't matter I guess Anyway, I kind of like this outdoor stone lamp. I don't know why. And I didn't. I saw this one design color swatch in this mailbox, which is really cute. And I wish that I have a wall facing outside that I can fit the mailbox, but it, I can't. So it had to be at the side, which I feel a bit. Hmm, how is it? Not so nice about it. So I did a lot of landscape in this house and then I put uh, stars to the back patio and I put only two trees, the Japanese trees because there's basically only two trees in the snowy escape so I only placed two and I placed a lot of grass I do feel that this house has lots of landscapes I wanted to hide the trash can so I placed a high tree there to like hide it a bit because I don't feel like totally covering it so I thought like maybe placing a bit of trees there would look great and in this landscape I didn't really put a, a small area specifically for landscapes I basically just used landscape all around the house and then I add in some stones I didn't use those common small lights I kind of add in a lot of this lantern like lamps The bedroom is a bit small considering that this house only has one bedroom and that bedroom is like so extremely small I think the most lacking part of this house is prob probably the sleeping space, I guess. Then now I'm kind of cluttering the kitchen, the, sorry, the bathroom counter with a lot of stuff. Putting in some decorations and I'm putting in some kitchen decorations. And now I'm moving, I'm kind of actually moving on to some base game decorations trying to make the house more filled up because my previous build is a rental house and this time is an actual Japanese house I kind of like the idea of having posters all around a house because I don't know, it just gives me that the vibe that it should look like this I also place some gardening parts in case the sims just want more plants in this house and then I like the idea of having the milk cans outside the house I like the, the posters and then like a place to hang which is near to the posters everywhere and then I start to put more lamps, like repeating the same lamps. I kind of like the lamps that I use in this build because I think it kind of fit the style that I'm going for. So I basically repeated that few lamps in almost all of the rooms. And I'm putting in some small lamps, some table lamps everywhere. Although it might not be that functional, functional because the house is quite bright. And then the study room has quite some stuff showing that the Sims really just love studying. There are like so much books on the study table. I feel like the kitchen hasn't really that 
much of decoration, decorative items. So I did put a lot of those clutter items in the bathroom and also the kitchen and everything to make it feel more lively. And I feel like this whole house is more occupied with things which most of the time in my builds, I don't really put so much clutter items. I don't know why, I feel like most of the time, I rather leave it a bit empty so that people can just put some of their clutter items in when they have some other packs, they can they have more clutter items, they can put much more things because the clutter items in only base game is a bit limited, so I don't really want to repeat it so much. I didn't expect this blind to have such nice swatches. I really like the bamboo swatch. I didn't expect. I just wanted to find a curtain, and I can't find, so I put a blind. But I didn't expect it to be this way. So the house is basically done. Shall we move on to tour the house a bit? So let's go, shall we? So this is the front of the house. I kind of like the front of the house. It looks so decorated. It just looks nice in all way. I don't know. I just like the front of this house so much. It looks pretty. Only the front of the house. I mean, the side of a house doesn't look that bad, but the front of it looks way better. Because pro probably the side of the house looks a bit flat. So we're moving on to the interior of the first floor. We have this first, the entryway with two shoe racks that small hallway you have the entry to the toilet to the second floor stairs and also to the tatami living area so we have a fish tank so we have that poster which i really like on the wall then we have the first floor toilet right in front of the entryway there's a stool there so we have a bit of clutter items on the first floor because it's a common bath. I didn't want to put so much clutter item. This is one of the things that I just placed it like really quick and it ended up being so high. Then we're moving on to the bathroom. I mean the shower area. We have that shower and the bathtub on the other side. So now we are moving on to the kitchen. We have the stove, the fridge, and the dishwasher with an oven and with a microwave. So we have the tatami living area with the kotatsu table. Then the tatami living area is open to the front yard with two chairs there. And then we have the milk can there. So the side of the house has a lot more landscapes. So moving on to the back of the house, I'm not quite sure why the stairs glitched. I don't think it's supposed to be like this. So the back of the house, we have a bench with another bar stool. Now we are moving on to the second floor. So we are at the entryway. There's this computer there. And then we have the chest table right at the side. And then we have the half bath with only the toilet. Then we have the western living area with the dresser. So we have this small balcony. The balcony is empty, but I think it would be fine to add an easel. The bedroom or the sleeping area has only a bed with its ensuite bathroom with a mirror there. Okay, so we have the bookshelves in the second floor. 
So that's basically our house. So I think that's all. Thank you guys for watching.